All right, so today, let's just do something a little bit uh, simple. You know what? Wix Studio is out now or partially out. Uh, I have access to it because I'm a special person. And I thought I'd try out something really simple here. And I wanted to build out like, um, like a stupid, simple agency landing page. <laughs> Hey friends, how's it going? Brad Hussey here with Creative Crew. Hey, before we get into this video, I want you to join us in our community, the Creative Crew community. The link is down in the description below and the pinned comment. Would love to see you there. Weekly meetups, guest experts, training sessions, and a lot more. It's your place to help you grow and thrive as a web design professional and creative studio owner or agency founder. You know what? Wix Studio is out now or partially out. But, you know, if you're special like me and you have access, then <laughs> you get to play around. For those, uh, the rest of us who don't have access to it, uh, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek about what's going on uh, under the hood and behind the scenes. I'm a real fan of ultra minimalist landing pages. You know, I, I get the big, beautiful, animated, amazing, incredible designs that are out there. I love that. And I think that they have their time and place, but sometimes, a good website is literally just a little bit of text. It's got a lot, a lot of intrigue and allure. And also it takes just a few minutes to make. <laughs> That's the real benefit here. So let's just flip on over to Wix Studio here. Blank canvas looks very similar to Editor X and what we're used to seeing, but there are some obvious user interface changes. We'll get into all the little nitpicky details in upcoming videos. So I'm gonna create like a ultra simple landing page for an agency who just like has a little bit of an attitude, like eh, whatever, I don't care. You know, you want to work with me? Well, you got to work to work with me. You know what I mean? Come on, Raphael, can't you work with me a little bit? I don't know. <laughs> let's just, let's just make something. So we're going to start out here in the left side here. We're going to change up some site colors. This is very similar to Editor X, a little bit more refined, a little bit sexier. And let's just go with like a creamy, creamy background color here, just off white, just super subtle, apply that. And then the rest of the background and text, they apply automatically as well. You can see that it's perfect. Action colors, I actually wanted to use this orange. That's kind of the bright side orange. I'd say that's about it. Cool, that's literally all I need to do. I don't need the more colors for now. Our typography, however, I do want to change. Uh, I'm not going to use the Wix made for font. I'm going to change it up to use uh, enter. All right. And you'll see that in our like typography pop up window here, we've got scale text turned on by default, which is really cool. Wix Studio makes it really easy to make responsive sites without having to do anything. And if you want to do anything, you can. You can you can customize anything and everything. There's a lot more customization availability here in Wix Studio, right down to the CSS and the code, which I'm super excited about. But if you just want to be like, I want this responsive, I want it super simple, I don't want to think about that. You know, I want AI to help me make it responsive. It's all there. This is really, really impressive. Uh, I'm just going to throw a logo in here. And I need that to display to keep my image ratio. It's a square. And we're going to make that smaller. All right. And we just need like a blurb of text and a button. So we're going to go boom, paragraph. It should be using our paragraph one settings. Perfect. And I'm going to add some text there real quick. All right. And then I'm going to stack these. Now this is cool. I can adjust the stack right here, like the, the vertical, the spacing in between. I could also make this a horizontal stack, which is a new feature, which is super exciting. Uh, this is using CSS Flexbox. I'm just going to keep it vertical because it just makes the most sense right now. And I'm going to clean this text up a little bit. And you know what? I don't even want it centered. Like I want this stuff like on the left-hand side of the screen, align the items to the left. And I'm going to make this container have some uh, padding all around it. So we're going to need to clean that up. I could do the advanced CSS grid or I could just, you know, do it right here. This is really easy. Boom. Simple. Let's make sure it's got 10% on the right as well. Just in case. Look at that. This is like the most basic website. I love it. Now we're just going to add a button and I'm going to attach it to the stack. I'm going to make sure it's spacing is just right. 
And this text, you know what? I want it to be a little bit heavier, just slightly heavier. So let's just adjust that text really quickly. Perfect. And I want the color to be more light. Harder to read, you know, just make it harder. Now, this button, I'm going to take this button and I'm going to change up the color. Let's see, I can use a primary call to action, but it looks a little bit like the logo. That's ah, okay. All good. And then let's change up when we hover over this. The color is going to go to our gray. And let's throw a little micro interaction in there. When you hover over this, it's not only going to change color, but we're going to do like a little animation. So maybe we should do something like something not too cheesy. Maybe a slight grow. I'm going to edit that a little bit. I'm actually going to change this up. The button itself is going to be dark. And then when you hover, it's going to go to the orange and then the interaction. We're going to do something like grow, but I'm going to customize this animation. The duration is going to be longer. Super subtle. Yeah, cool. And I'm going to make the whole height of this canvas like fit to the screen. So it's just fully fitting to the screen. So we're going to change the height. Let me fit to screen. Now I'll check that out. Brilliant. Okay. So now what I'm actually going to do is, oh yeah. Is I'm going to give it a slight, because it's so basic, there's not much to it. I mean, I can add some embellishments to it if I want. Like if I wanted to add a shape, let's put a shape over here and up in the corner. Maybe we'll change up the shape to be something little more abstract and then we're going to change these settings uh, no we'll change up the color color is gonna be slightly darker and then maybe we can do like a little animation interaction perhaps like entrance it'll do like a float maybe I like turn okay and then I think I'm also going to do something like this whole stack I'm going to make the whole stack have a have a load in entrance interaction like animation. Let's blur it in. Oh yeah. Super cool. Now let's give it a little preview. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this little eyebrow thing come in uh, at a delay because this takes a little while to load in. I know it can make it load faster, but I don't want to. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it. I'm going to adjust that animation and I'm going to delay it by like two seconds. And then we should be good. Sweet. So there it is. Real, real basic marketing site for an agency. Now, is it responsive? There's not much to it. So it should be very easy to make responsive. So I see it scales down in size and then you know down to mobile obviously I don't want it to look like that I want it to fill out but what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out the AI responsive feature so I'm actually going to click responsive AI and generate now and see what it does for the different screen sizes and see if we need to like make any changes and See how much time this may or may not save us at this stage. Now it is in beta at the time that I'm using it. Um, once it's public, I'm sure it'll be much, much, much better. So let's see, responsive design was tailored to your section or different devices. Let's try it. So I'm gonna drag to resize. So this is our desktop. It scales down, which is fine. Tablet, okay. It's scaling down, so not much has changed for that. Mobile, this is where things changed. Okay, so it's a starting point. So it took elements and it stacked them. Obviously, it's a very basic layout to work with. So what I might do is take what it did and just make some slight tweaks. So I'm going to apply the design and then I'm going to switch myself to tablet view and I'm going to take this and I'm going to make the height fit to screen. Okay. And then let's go down to our mobile. Now this is where I could use some changes. So I don't want this element here anymore. So I'm going to open up my layers and this cell, I think what I'll do is I'll like hide it. And then I'm going to make this logo smaller. 
adjust some sizing. This button is gonna be bigger. Some slight tweaks to the item spacing. All right, now, if we preview, we should have a nicely responsive, basic agency one pager using Wix Studio. Some simple micro interactions and animations, responsive with AI, assist, AI assisted responsive design. I made a few tweaks. I'm gonna do one last thing here. On mobile, I actually want the whole thing to fill out. Fit to screen, perfect. Now let's check this thing out. All right, we got our desktop. Nice little animation. Scales, so this is like, as you get a bigger screen, it's gonna scale with you, which is nice. Drops down to our tablet view, which we're just scaling really at this point, which is totally fine. Tablets are gigantic these days. And then we got our mobile view, which is, ooh, a little janky there. So I'm gonna fix that button. This button, we're gonna change its width to a relative number, it's gonna be percentage. Okay, we're gonna scale that button proportionally. So now if we check this out on our mobile devices, as we change the mobile device size, it's going to scale proportionally. That is brilliant, I love that. There it is. All right, as simple as that folks. Sometimes we just wanna make a real simple agency site um, honestly, this is what I'm using for my agency site. It's just really simple and basic. Just to let them know what you do, you're using real simple layout, simple structure, and using something like Wix Studio obviously takes you mere seconds. And you can add a few little embellishments just to show that you, you know, <laughs> you took a little extra time to make it. But honestly, there's so much left to cover here in Wix Studio, and I'm excited to dig into the tool. In fact, I'm gonna be heading out to Toronto on Wix studios global tour and i'm going to go to the i'm going to go to the toronto dates for for the week uh, for one of the weeks and i'm going to be co covering it i'm going to be taking some footage i'm going to be vlogging it and going to be meeting some folks who are learning wix studio some other agency owners so hey if you're in the toronto area september 11th the week of september 11th uh let me know and uh hopefully i'll see you there all right until next time i'll see you in another video cheers